All right. Namaste, everyone. Welcome back. Happy, what is this, Thursday. Um, super psyched to be here with you guys live. I put up a um, Instagram post today that really has kind of generated a big conversation and gotten a lot of heat. And so I wanted to jump on here. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Kalina. Um, I wanted to jump on here and talk a little bit about this. So we're going to talk about the, the sort of hashtag, this phrase, good vibes only. And I put up a post today talking about my feelings about good vibes only because what this implies to me, first of all, I think it's really indicative of our whole culture and the spiritual bypassing that can tend to happen in the yoga spiritual world and the self-development world and this emphasis on valuing positive emotions, feeling good, happiness, um, you know, the phrase being the happiest person you know or good vibes only and it inherently denies this other half of our reality, which is the difficulty, the challenges in life. So I am actually going to, um, as you guys know, we just opened registration for Yoga Psyche Soul. And so I'm putting the, the link up here for you guys in Instagram and you guys have it right there in um, the Facebook comments. So we're live on both Instagram and Facebook. Hello everyone. So today, each day this week, I'm focusing on one module of Yoga Psyche Soul. And so tonight, I want to talk about module one, which is foundations of yoga psychology and shadow work. And this has everything to do with this term, good vibes only, that emphasizes, again, these sort of positive emotions. And what that does is it sets up this dichotomy that certain emotions are good and other emotions are bad or feelings are bad good vibes, bad vibes. So that's where we get the split. And the thing about the human mind is the human mind is always seeking to categorize, to try to make sense of, to analyze the prefrontal cortex of the brain, right? So every time we are assessing any situation, any emotion, any feeling that we're having, sensation that we're having, experience that we're having, we're always trying to define it as good or bad, right or wrong. And this is the inherent struggle of being human. This is the yin and yang. So in yoga, we talk about the yoking, right? The union, the unification of the opposites. And so the two opposite forces would be that we're seeking that union, that they're just two sides of the same coin. So what I wanted to get into, now this comes straight out of module one. I wanted to show you this manual because this is for Yoga Psyche Soul. This is an online training. The doors are only open for 10 more days, and this is a very specific fusion of yoga, depth psychology, shadow work, neuroscience, meditation. This is an equal parts personal transformation and professional development program. So you could do this program to enhance your professional skills as a yoga teacher, therapist, body worker, nurse, educator. We have a lot of educators, teachers in this program. And you can also do this work as a very deep personal transformation and we have tons of testimonials go over to Facebook um, go to the IGTV we have in my story tons of testimonials of the transformations that people have had personally going through this training and how it's affected their marriage how it's affected them as a parent and really given them very deep skills to manage their emotions to get emotionally intelligent and live more skillfully in their life. And that is the aim of yoga. The aim of yoga is to live our potential. The aim of yoga is, we have this term in yoga called skillful action. And so when we cultivate skillful action, in this case tonight, we're talking about shadow work, we're talking about mastering your emotions, so that difficult situations, you don't even resist them. You actually invite them. And the reason you don't resist them, I have, you know, this post I made today was that I have several friends this month who have talked to me about the fact that they're getting divorced, they're getting separated from their partners. Um, a friend of mine just, uh, you know, announced that her, cancer, uh, her son has cancer, a 15-year-old son has cancer. Um, you know, my father just died recently. Like, life is intense. And life is very tough a lot of the times. And 
life is always throwing us curveballs and our lack of confidence or our fear and our insecurity and even the roots of anxiety comes from the fact that we are we don't trust how we're going to show up in the face of challenge and adversity the truth is that adversity and challenge is never going away it's always going to be there and everything in life is really about finding solutions to problems, problem solving, and being solution oriented in our ways. The aim of Yoga Psyche Soul is that I want to teach you very practical skills that you can use in your life, that you become a spiritual samurai, that you know how to handle difficult emotions. And when you fuck up and when you yell at someone or you lose your shit or you get impatient or whatever it is, you yell at your kid or your coworker, because it does happen, right? You learn very quickly how to rectify it, how to, we would call, alchemize it or transmute it. That's the samurai energy, right? Of catching that curveball, drawing that potential energy in, transforming it within your being, and then casting that ball back out and using it as the kinetic energy in the direction of what your aim is, in the direction of what your intention is. So I just shut the page because I was going to read this. Um, quote to you because this comes straight here we go it comes straight from the manual now i just want to take a moment and show you this manual so this is like a, a 80 page manual this is just module one and yoga psyche soul is six modules so when you sign up for yoga psyche soul you get six of these manuals now a huge piece of module one is the values the subtle body anatomy and how the breath practice the koshas and how the breath body works as a bridge between the physical body and the mental body. So this is how do we learn to use the energy of our emotions and our thoughts, connect that to the pranic body, and then direct the flow of that prana where we want to in our bodies and in our lives. This is the alchemy of yoga psychology. This is pure empowerment. This is the majesty of the yoga practice. This is a technology. This is a very specific scientific technology of yoga psychology. And go to my um, Facebook Live and Instagram Live yesterday when I talk about what is the meaning. Actually, it's on Instagram TV. What is the meaning of yoga psychology? Psyche means spirit. It means, body, it means breath. It means the essence, the spirit of who you are connected to the breath. So I want to read you this quote about the pranic body, the energetic body. So we have five koshas, of course. We have the physical outer layer, the pranic and subtle body. Then we have manamaya kosha, which is the mental emotional body. And then we have vijnanamaya kosha, the inner higher mind, wisdom mind body. And then we have the soul, the essence, the spirit. I think of that like a bullseye. So literally the pranic body is that which is between the physical body, anamaya kosha, and the mental emotional body. So the thing about the breath is that it can translate into both hemispheres, into the physical, literal, and into the mental, emotional. So when we have a difficult emotion, we learn how to transmute that using our breath and direct that flow to shape shift that energy. So here's a quote. This is a very tantric perspective. Thought shapes energy. Think about that for a moment. Thought shapes energy. When we have an experience in life, we immediately determine, define whether it's good or bad, right or wrong, positive or um, like pleasurable or painful. So the thought that we have about that experience, maybe you're dating someone and they don't call. Maybe you interpret that as a negative thing, like they don't like you, they're dating someone else, you go into a whole story about it, but really you don't know why they didn't call. Maybe their grandmother is in the hospital. Maybe their dog just got sick. Who knows? You're interpreting that through the lens of your mental, emotional body as a negative. As soon as we interpret something as negative, and this is the going back to that original statement of good vibes only, our physical body constricts, our prana constricts. And when that prana constricts, our physicality around it shapes itself, our body shapes itself around that. So 
energy thought shapes energy now conversely if we if we cultivate an openness or compassion or loving kindness that opens our energy up and it's flowing it's in the state of flow state energy also shapes thought this is a crucial teaching this is I'm giving you guys a big insight into the roots of yoga psyche soul and why this is such a, a empowering training that this is really for your liberation this is for your confidence this is for you building self-trust so that no matter what happens in your life you know you can handle it and you know how to handle it and you have tools that are going to that are sharpened in this training that are going to help you meet life's challenges inevitable adversities energy shapes thought this is where we get into the science of the values the five different ways that energy moves in the body we don't have time for that right now but the bottom line is we can cultivate a certain quality of energy of prana and that will help determine the shape of our thoughts and this is where asana comes in pranayama comes in mantra mudra comes in that we work from the outside in to shape the quality of our energy which then informs the quality of our thoughts and we work from the inside out to shape our thoughts and reframe our belief systems and really hone and refine our inner stories and our mindset so that that ripples out and has a different quality, a different bhavana of energy. So we're working in both directions. So imbalances will create more negative thoughts and more negative energetic patterns. So I just wanted to share that with you as a real basic of prana. So there's a term that says when what knowledge is to yoga, prana is to tantra. So prana is really the, the medium of wisdom, of consciousness itself, is carried through prana. So we want to work from the inside out, changing our thought forms and patterns, and we also want to work from the outside in, changing our physicality, our energy body, that's going to have a direct effect on our thoughts themselves. So if you're feeling, in a nutshell, if you're feeling anxious, begin to slow down and smooth out your breath, and that will really help shift your energetic frequency, your template. If you're feeling depressed, low self-esteem, one of the best things that you can do is a good strong workout to get that fire burning, that sadhaka agni burning. So go to the gym, do a run, go for a brisk walk, um, you know, do some you know, Pilates or sit-ups or weight training, something yoga practice, of course, something that's going to generate heat to start to change the state of your energy. So this is the basics of mind body when we talk about the mind body connection the psyche and the soma are not separate you can use your body and your breath as two of your greatest allies in changing the quality of your life so i wanted to offer that to you guys and then there's another big announcement that i have so that's all the the roots this is module one really understanding the science of the mind body connection the psyche soma connection and very specific protocols and tools for you to address imbalances that arise in life. So this is really an empowerment training. You learn these skills, you practice these skills on yourself, then you go and teach them to other people because you own them, they're living within you, you're teaching by transmission, right? Okay, second big announcement. So that's module one of Yoga Psyche Soul. That's a little insight into module one. Tune in tomorrow, because I'm gonna go into module two, which is all about the chakras. So there's a big teaching that I have for you guys from the, from the chakras, and I'm super psyched to share with you tomorrow. Okay, um, so the other big announcement that I have, Yoga Psyche Soul is open for only 10 more days. We only open registration twice a year. I can tell you we are not gonna be opening registration until seven or eight months from now because we have other things happening. So please, if you're interested, click that link right there, yoga dash psychology.co check out the program it is really one of a kind it's really unique I got one of the best compliments yesterday and I'll put it up on Instagram again which is from Daisy um, Jays and she says the curriculum of yoga psyche soul is 
unparalleled. There truly is nothing else like this on the market. Trust me, I've done my research. That was such a huge compliment for me because I really do feel like this is an innovative training. This has the depth of psychology tools along with the roots and the depth and the density of the yoga philosophy and psychology and spirituality and strong asana every single week in yoga psyche soul you get a new bundle of lessons this is a six month program a six module program and every monday you get a new asana practice which is a two to three hour asana practice filmed in our live training you get a new sadhana practice which is an hour long meditation mantra um mudra pranayama practice so those are both filmed live and you get those every single monday a new one that weaves in the weekly theme then you get um, several video, short video lessons from me about whatever the different topics are, whether it's the koshas or the chakras or um, the antarkarana, the four aspects of mind, and you know we can go on and on. You also get written lessons, worksheets, um, exercises, and then you get guest expert interviews every single week. And we have, of course, an um, online portal that's private, and then every month, you have um, private mentor group calls with me, which is my favorite part of the whole thing because I get on with you guys and really coach you, laser coach you live. So it's a very in-depth training. You also, though, this is the big announcement. So you also get, with your Yoga Psyche Soul membership, you get, uh, with the course, you also get a free ticket to my upcoming live soul and strategy of success mastermind day this is a one-day mastermind in los angeles saturday august 24th please sign up now so that you can come and join us next saturday it's live it's happening in la it's with three of it, this is really an immersion to help you build your yoga or wellness business this is not going to be available online this is just available live and in person and um this is my great, great joy and deep calling to help you all build your businesses in a very practical way. Um, it's taken me years to do this education on my own. I really want to help shortcut it for you. I firmly believe you guys are doing some of the most important work on the planet. You deserve to be thriving, making good money, but there is a very specific strategy for how to do this. However, this is not just like a girl boss, entrepreneur, like, let's make six or seven figures. This is rooted in the yoga philosophy of living our lives in our dharma, living our lives in a balanced way. So we're gonna be looking at what's your constitution, what phase of life are you in, what's your deepest calling, what are your spiritual gifts, how does that align with your dharma, and how does that align with what's needed in the marketplace. Then we build your career from that. It's a very holistic approach, not just about making more money, okay? That's a really important distinction and why this training is, and this one day mastermind is super unique as well. And I'm bringing in my A team, people on the Ashley Turner team, Destiny Berman, who's my launch manager and strategist, um, is coming in and really talking about helping you scale your business, whether that's online or with live events and retreats. Um, bringing in my bookkeeper, uh, Parker Stevenson, who co-owns Evolved Finance, and they are just a fucking badass finance team. We're talking numbers, we're talking P&Ls, we're talking the, the proportions of how you want to think about allocating your money as a business. Um, and then I have Katie Sager, who owns Harmonica PR, and she is going to be talking about PR, social media, building a brand, and some other special guests too. So it's going to be jam-packed day that is next saturday you get a free ticket when you sign up for yoga psyche soul so please go to that link check it out and tune in tomorrow i'm going to be back with module two and dive into some big teachings about the chakras please let me know if you guys have any questions i am checking them i'm here in facebook and instagram dm me send me a message put it in the comments and we will be sure to get back to you also when you go to that link you can book a call with my team so if you have any questions about the training um, we will hook you up. All right. Thank you guys so much. Namaste. Namaste. So grateful to be here with you all. And hopefully I will see you guys very soon. So I will see you tomorrow. Tune in and um, another Instagram TV dropping tomorrow and uh, hit me up. All right.
Have a great night.